Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. You wondering what all this stuff back here is? We are gardening. So we've had a garden for about ooh, like 10 years, probably more than 10 years. But since relocating, I took a, few, a couple of years off. So now we're back. Last year, actually, we were back. I did a little bit. So I'm gonna show you how I prepare um, certain uh, seeds and crops for the season. So uh, just hang out and enjoy. I bought these right here. So you just put them in here and then like you pop the bottoms. I'm gonna show you. Normally I just use, and you don't have to get this. This was about $10. Um, a half of one was I think $8 or no, it was like six. So normally I just use um, like foam cups. I'll buy the other planting just um, cups that you can just put in the ground. You don't even have to take them out, but sometimes I take them out. They're like biodegradable. So this right here, so here's the tray that it sits in. So your water catches in there. And when you're ready to take them out of here, this is where you start your seeds in. When you're ready to take them out, it looks like you just pop them up and do there. So um, we're going to, I have dirt, so I'm gonna add the dirt in here. And then the seeds we're gonna do, we'll do okra. Cucumber, peas, and then garden green beans. I'm really hoping that I'm not, you have to check your zone of where you live because some um, crops can be too hot. It can, your weather can be too hot for that certain crop or too cold. So there's cold, cool weather crops, which usually are your lettuces and uh, certain beans. And then your warm weather stuff can be anything from uh, cucumbers, but not too hot. Tomatoes, it has to be hot for tomatoes. Certain peas, so yeah. And on the back of certain packs, it actually show you what zone. So go by the color of what you where you need to plant. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with that. So it may have been like two. So much okra grew. So I don't even want to do a lot of these because how much grew last year, I wouldn't even do, well, for the space I have. And I'll show you, see back there is where I have the, uh, my planter beds, it's three. I actually, ideally I want two more. Um, and then I plant in these little things too. So here's the little seeds. So I'm gonna probably, Sometimes I'll plant two in a in here just in case one may not take. I think I am gonna do. I'll do two in that one, but I'll do one in the others. So we'll see. And okra to me is just fun to grow. I'm not like a huge, huge fan of it, but I do like to put it in our soups. Fried okra is good. I know that some people don't like okra, which I, I can see why some people wouldn't like okra. You do have to have kind of an acquired taste, but really the main reason for the main reason okra was used is to thicken soup and supposedly i heard that you can um use it for your hair because it has that like slipperyness to it kind of like putting aloe on your hair you can have a nice little slip 
So I just, so I sit the seeds on there and just take my finger and push it through. Or you can make a little hole like that. Like if you're working with kids, they usually like that. Have them poke the hole like that. So you see the little holes in there? You have them poke the hole and also, or you poke the hole and have them just drop the seed in. It's just fun for the kids. Like my Lauren, Lauren she likes it. So I'm gonna cover that up. So I know I'll have okra on that row, which I really do need to go ahead and mark it because if I switch it around, then I won't know. <laughs> So this is something I do. I write on the popsicle stick. So I'll write okra. And then I'll stick it in the corner here. That way I know this row is okra. I don't know where they blew to. All right. So then, and I'll have these seeds for like next year. All right, so now we're gonna do, we'll do cucumber, which I'm, I'm so confused about. Ooh, this wind is going. Oh, it got wet. We're gonna do cucumber. We'll do this row of cucumber. And then this is the cucumber seeds. I'll do my little hole here. I don't think I want to do too many cucumbers because I don't have a lot of space. That's another reason why I don't. Okay, so we did cucumbers. And then we'll cover, we'll cover them up. See how I don't have my gloves on? <laughs> I always start off with gloves. And then I'm going to write it on here. I'll just write cuke, C-U-C. -C. Sometimes I do like to write the date, so I'll do April. So you can put the date on there too. So write what you have and then the date. Then let's do, uh, I think I have to wait on these because it says January to March and then in August. Yeah, we'll wait on snap peas. Snap peas is kind of like a cool weather. But then I think I can do this. So we're gonna do the garden green beans. Make our little hole. And we'll take this indoors because if you leave it outside, and here's the beans from here. If you leave it outside, the birds can, the birds might dig in it. So I will say that when you're starting seeds, start them, you can prep outside because it get kind of messy, but move them indoors until they get a little bigger because birds or whatever will come through and dig them up, usually birds. Right. Uh, green beans. Put that in a little end. And And then I'll do pea. We'll do these peas. I don't know why these peas. You say I can do these peas, but not the other peas. And sugar snap peas are the ones I really, really want. Like, peas are okay. Like, some stuff I'll plant and I'll, like, want to give it away to people. So, here's the peas. They look like actual peas.
cover that up. Oh. Right peas. Is it a certain kind of pea? What does it say? It's just peas. They're, oh wait. Hmm, all these are sugar snap. So this is what this looks like and again i'll water it it'll catch the water and they'll start to grow up and we'll do an update we'll get we'll do an update in a little bit too i like to save all my dirt so i'm gonna leave that there So now what I have here is, I bought these from the store. It's broccoli. So they look kind of poor and sad right now because they're the roots are probably so tangled in. So I've got these, these from the dollar store, which I need to poke holes in the bottom of it. So for drainage. So you get them from the dollar store and they have these uh, here. You can poke your holes in it for your drainage. I just kind of do a quick little poke there. My last ones, I actually forgot to do that. Oh, look, I just put a whole hole in there. That's all right. So yeah, you just want to poke your holes for drainage. I do like the planter beds better because my back don't hurt. <laughs> but, woo, gardening, starting off. Gardening is not hard. It's just the physicality of it starting is, it is pretty tough. So now what I'm gonna do is fill this up. I'm gonna fill it up with the, I'm gonna fill it up with the potting soil could use the garden soil too. I might mix it.
prep it for when I'm ready to put it in there. Another bag is gonna go in here because when this is wet, it does smash down. So it looked like it's a lot, but once it get wet, I'm like, where all the dirt go? So let me show you. Here was what we have here. This is um, Brussels sprouts. See, we got Brussels sprouts. And they look so pretty. I love the flower of it, but they grow really differently. So I'll show you all. You'll see the progress of how Brussels sprouts grow if you don't know. It grow in an interesting way. <laughs> and then so here is uh, collard greens and cabbage. And I'm really hoping that I don't have it planted too close. So yeah, that's what we have here. So if you look, I got one, two, three, which ideally I want two more. Oh, I gotta get that bag. Um, and then I'll show you here. Here's, these are more collard, uh, uh, yeah. These are collard greens too. And then this is the broccoli that I just put here. So, that's just a little bit how we prep our garden. Normally I do have help. Lauren, she's my good helper. She's, she comes out here and help me. And then Deani comes in water too. And then Dre keeps the grass good and cut for me and water it too if he look and see that it's dry. So everyone, we all help out. Oh, I'm gonna show you guys another thing that I do that's really good. It's gonna, it's different. It's different, I'm gonna show you. I learned that actually it did help really well why I have this. Eggshells and coffee grounds. It helped your garden. Also, if you don't know, you can go to Starbucks and they actually have, near the register or wherever they may have it in your local Starbucks, big bags, like five pound bags of their coffee grounds. Is their used coffee grounds they're free. So you can go and get them and on the bag it even say for garden or something like that. So you mix that in with your dirt, ground up your eggshells, you can ground it in a fruit pro food processor or you being lazy like I did the last time, I just crumbled it up with my hands really, really good. And then mix it into the soil. So it's good food for your soil. So, and it's a good compost too. So compost works really good with uh, your vegetable garden. So I can't keep a flower, but I can make some food grow. So just hang with us and we'll, I'll show you updates. So just continue to look at our um, shorts and I'll show you updates on it. And also when we cook it too. And I freeze a lot of it. So thanks for watching. All about the Williams. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe.